So we are going back in time to the year 2015. I thought it would be fun to count down our top 10 children's games of that year. I have six years. This is being recorded in February 2022. So I've got six, seven years of playing these games with my kids as they've been growing up. And I can report back. What are some good games? You probably can go back and find these games very cheaply and be able to experience these with your kids and have a great time. Number 10 is Space Planets. This is a game from Haba of rolling dice and a little bit of dexterity. We're trying to roll the dice on the planets to gain things in order to score the most points. Very simple game. Uh, I'm pulling the strings a little bit to get a 10th game here. It was okay. It wasn't one of the strongest ones of the year, obviously, because it's number 10. But it does have that little space aspect to it. If your kid likes that, the dice rolling and a little bit of dexterity mixed in, that is Space Planets. is me want cookies this is probably the most unique one of on the list where you have a card and there'll be a little line going through and you set these cards up and you for the starting point you got to kind of in your head think okay it went through here through there and to which cookie it went to now the kids could just do a random guess and be wrong but you kind of they most of them won't cheat they'll kind of follow the line through and try to find that progression of where they want very unique uh, not a very complicated game, but a fun one, and one that you don't get this experience from many other games. I can't think of any other game like it. Me want cookies. Number eight is Master Fox, and this one's really cool. Is you put these masks on of different foxes, and you'll reach around with your eyes closed to try to feel out certain shapes that you're looking for, and you'll pull those shapes out or not, as you will most of the time. It's a really fun experience. And the kids like wearing the mask, and it is uh, full of laughs, and you know, I'll miss them on purpose. And everybody laughs at dad, and everybody has a great time. That is Master Fox, and you're going to see that's a common theme this year of closing your eyes and feeling around for things. Number seven is Push a Monster. And this is where the monsters all come in different shapes and they're going to be on something. And you're pushing a little stick trying to get the ones off that you want. And you kind of see this as like maybe a Chuck E. Cheese type game that you'll see with like the little quarters coming off the edges. That's what this is like. And you want to get on there and you don't want anything necessarily to drop off. Can you just squeeze it on there? That's Push a Monster. Very fun game. Plays very quickly. Kids are going to like it. A lot of laugh. Ooh, I don't want it to fall off. And then it does. And they're going to giggle and laugh and have a great time with Push a Monster. Number six is by Queen Kids, and I hate that they stopped their line. I don't think they're putting out any more games in it, but Chef Alfredo. This game looks really cool as you're putting things into these cooking pots, and you have to remember, remember where they're at because they're going to shuffle around and put different things in, and it's a little bit of a memory aspect, but it looks it looks phenomenal. It's one of the most well-produced games I've ever seen. The box is a little bit bigger than it needs to be. I wish it was a little bit smaller, but I really enjoyed this kids line that Queen's put out. They put a bunch of great kids games out. And I wish it was still alive today. And Shelf Alfredo is one that you should track down. Number five is We Detectives. Now, this is a little bit older of the kids. I'm not saying like teenagers, but, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old. They're getting older. It's a little bit of a detective game where you're going around and you're getting clues to solve little mysteries. It doesn't take a whole lot of deductive skills to get through this one, but it's a really fun little game to play. I wouldn't quite put it in the family aspect. I'm sticking this strictly to kids' games. We Detective is probably stretching it the most. It's probably the oldest kids game on the list, but this is a really fun experience. It starts to feel like a real game. Most of the kids games just have kind of like one mechanism that you're kind of doing, dexterity or something for laughs or things falling down. This feels like we're taking a step into board game realm, and that aspect of it makes it a favor for us. Number four was part of a series, and I really hated they stopped making games for the series. This is Little Red Riding Hood. Now, granted, uh, this game has two modes in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I like both modes. One mode is where the players are cooperatively just trying to get down the path without the wolf. Then you have the second mode where somebody can be the wolf and block off the paths and kind of make more strategic decisions as you're going through. Obviously, if somebody's playing the wolf, it's a little bit tougher, but it's a really fun little easygoing cooperative game for the youngest of gamers. Little Red Riding Hood was a very warranted place in this acclaimed series of children games. Number three is Dr. Eureka. Now, this is a game that even adults like to play. You have these little beakers, and there's marbles in them, and you have to get them in like a certain... There's a card that will come out and tell you, I need these marbles and these beakers, and it's never that easy. So you're going to tip a little bit over, then tip another one over. And this is one that adults actually have fun with, 
Even though it's a kid's game, adults can play this and have a great time. But your kids are really going to like this. Now, be a little patient with them. It's going to be a little bit slower than you're going to be at this. So you're going to need to kind of kind of hold back just to ever just a little bit there so they can kind of learn. But it's teaching them logic and how, how to get through the situation. And a lot of times, it's not even about scoring. They're going to be like, how do you do this, Dad? And you kind of, okay, let's try this, this. No, that didn't work. Let's reset. And that's a really fun experience to have with them, too. This one's a very good one for schooling, too. I'm just learning those causations and logic puzzle that you're doing through. Dr. Eureka, I don't want to oversell it or say it's, you know, it's highbrow. It's a children's game. Don't worry. They're going to love this one. Number two is one of my favorite children games that I play with all of my kids, Flashlights and Fireflies. This is a game where you're competing to pull a little flashlight uh, thematically and looking for the uh, fireflies as you're going through. And you have your little person that's hiding in there. And it's a very fun experience to get a big uh, wooden die that you're, you're rolling in this one. And it's going to be very, very appealing. It's one that we keep going back to just because it is a lot of fun. If you haven't played Fireflies uh, and Flashlights, this is one you definitely need to track down. The number one game for kids of this year that I just had a blast with is The Little Prince. This is one I don't think, it, I think it flew under the weight radar a little bit. Uh, it's based on a French book that I don't think uh, a lot of people have heard of, maybe haven't read or haven't read in a long time. But it's like a little racing game where you're trying to get stars and, and you're going through it. And I really, really like this one. It's one I can easily recommend. It also isn't that bad with adults, believe it or not. If you want a light filler, this will work just fine for a bunch of adults waiting for other people to show up. And it's been a blast for us. So over the years, I played a lot of children's games with my kids. I wanted to go back to 2015 and just kind of update you. What worked, what didn't. A lot of times these fly under the radar of like the top 10, top 20 list that people make. But there are some really good children games from this year. And top three, four, five of this year, I would say you can definitely, definitely track these down. Probably will find them a good uh, prices as people's kids have grown out of these. So happy hunting and I'll see you guys next time.